all right before we begin this video guys make sure that your computers are connected to the same network now if you don't know what's a network uh, well make sure that the computers are connected to the same let's say if you're doing this through Wi-Fi you can perfectly fine if you're doing it through the Ethernet cable you are completely fine but make sure that both computers are connected to the same router or the same modem all right with that in mind let's get to this video all right guys first things first let's go ahead and open up the folder that is at the bottom of your tab and let's click on network to see what comes up we have that little error in there and click on home group to see what's up in there there's nothing let's go ahead and close this window let's come over here to the ethernet icon at the bottom right click it and open network and sharing center once we're here let's go ahead and change advanced sharing settings and pretty much follow my steps turn on everything turn on network discovery turn on file and printer sharing allow windows to manage home group connections recommended that's how i got my settings over here turn on network discovery turn on file and printer sharing and over here on all networks just click it and turn off the password protected sharing now click save changes and let's go ahead and reboot the computer all right let's go back to the file folder and come over here to home group and click on the tab create home group right here click next if you want to read it you can and right here the permissions what you want to share pretty much you can select or deselect whichever one you want after that click next and we are greeted with a password you can save this password or you can access it later click finish all right we can see right here on the home group we got snow white and we can also see it on the network these are the files that are being shared if you right click it you can see the password and everything you can change the settings and whatnot so right here take a look at that change advanced settings make sure that the settings that you selected earlier are the same for the ones right here just make sure they're all the same settings which they should be all right there's nothing to change let's exit out of there over here we can create a folder that we want to share as well so we create a new folder here let's name it shared files or videos whatever name you want to give it and right here right click it come down to properties go to sharing and click share and pretty much follow the steps that i'm doing right here guys click the arrow down and put in there everyone like if you want to share the folder with everyone just click everyone uh, over here come down to everyone and allow the folder to be right and right if you want you know full access from another computer to this folder here so make sure you click read and write and after that guys you can see right there we allow this folder to be shared now let's come down to advanced sharing share this folder right here we're just verifying that the folder is shared we come down to permissions right here we're just making sure that everyone is allowed to use this folder from another computer so just click ok and now this folder is ready to be accessed from another computer as you can see right here there is the folder that i created so let's exit that here now let's go to the other computer all right guys we are here on my other computer my other windows 10 
and right here pretty much what I click I click on uh, network to make sure you know there's any network in here as you can see right there I can join another home group so what am I gonna do right now guys is I'm gonna go back down same procedure as I did on the previous clip I'm gonna go over here to change advanced sharing settings and I'm gonna turn on everything as I did on the other computer you can follow my steps if you want again Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and close that tab and open a new one, just a fresh one. So if I click it open, you can now see on network there is the other computer. So what am I gonna do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and join the network and the home group. So click on home group, click join, click next. And we select right here what I want to share. I want to share everything with that computer. So I click next and I have to type in the password. And the password is going to be the one given to me on the other computer when I started the home group. Yay, I have joined the group. So let's click on finished. And now we can see if we can access the other computer and, and check the folders. I don't know why it keeps on saying that there's no home group, there's no computers on the home group available. I have no clue why. And I go ahead and open the file folder again one more time. And I want to go see if I can access the computer. So let me go ahead and click it open. It's no white evolve. It's my other computer. So as you can see right here, there is the folder that I created. There's nothing in there. All right, so what I want to do here is I want to do a little test. I'm going to go ahead and copy a file or a video which most likely does what I'll be transferring back in four videos. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this one here and I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste. Drop it over here on shared content, paste, and there it is. It should appear on the other Windows computer. Alrighty, here I am on computer number one. It's not what evolved. And let's see if the folder is in there. So let's click in here. Video storage. Let's go ahead and find that video that I transferred or shared. And there it is. It's a Call of Duty clip. You can see you're taking a look at it right now. And right here, guys, I'm also going to show you how I can enable a whole hard drive. Take a look at this one here, this hard drive here. It's one terabyte and I can share my whole library inside, my, all my video clips and everything. You can take a look at that. This my this one here is my Snow White computer where I have all my clips saved and everything. So, yeah. So, you know what, guys? Let's not wait any longer. Let's go. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and right click the hard drive that we want to share. So right click it and go down to properties, go to sharing. And right here, we don't have the option to share. So let's go ahead and go down a little bit to the next tab, advanced sharing. Click it and enable it. Just share this folder and you can set a name. So I'm going to go ahead and change the name and I'm going to go ahead and rename it. You can choose whatever name you want. And after that, we're going to go ahead and select permissions and we are going to enable, you know, allow everything. Don't mind any of that. Hit apply, hit OK, hit apply, of course, hit OK and hit close. And now our hard drive is shared to the network. Alrighty, so here I am on computer number two and I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I have access to that hard drive so i come over here to snow white evolved and hard drive for video share so click it open and there we can see that we have some videos these are the videos that i have been captured in the screen on the other computers so what i'm going to do is copy it copy all the videos because i'm going to transfer them to my imac and yes, I also connected my iMac in here because it's where I edit. So I'll just copy it and paste it to a share folder as well. And guys, after that, 
pretty much that is it. You can just go ahead and do your workflow, do your videos or your worksheets or whatever you share between computers. Guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope that it helped you. Uh, if you have another way to do it, I know there are some softwares out there to do it and I'm going to try that out as well. But you know what, guys, this right here between Windows to Windows computer, it's very simple, very freaking easy. Now, when it comes to Windows and iMac, it's a little bit of a headache. I can say that, but I'm not going to get into that because this video here, it's Windows 10 to Windows 10. Guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope that it helped you. Like I said, one more time, stay tuned for more tutorials, more tech reviews, product reviews, such and such. Stay beautiful. Stay awesome. I love you guys.